Libra, welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 16th of June. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot and my time to shine oracle decks. So your overall energy, what a way to start. The Empress card number three. This is you getting busy. This is the card of taking action. Look, she's got her sleeves rolled up, she's got her apron on and she's busy. So acting on those new ideas, getting started with those new projects, not just thinking about it or intending to, this is the card of taking action. Your help or your hurdle, the two of coins, is all about balance. Now on the card, look, she's trying to ride a unicycle and juggle all at the same time. Never easy. So this will relate to balancing finances, work-life balance, how much time do you give away, how much time do you take out for yourself. All of those things need taking into consideration. It also suggests that you might have more than one option to choose from this week, so you need to make a wise and sensible choice. The page of teacups comes in next in what do you need to focus on. So this page card is a messenger card. They all have an envelope. So this could be you being appreciated for everything you do and all that you are. Messages of appreciation coming in. It could also be in the form of help and support as well. So this could be somebody coming in to help you. How can you help yourself? We've got the Knight of Teacups. So we've got cards following on from one another. Now the Knights are all fast moving energy. They all have a motorbike in my deck. And this Knight of Teacups comes charging in saying, stay balanced. Just go steady this week. Don't take any rash decisions. Don't make any rushed decisions. Just take things steady a step at a time. Pulling it all together, we've got the Nine of Pencils. This says stay positive and focus on what could go right. Now, very often we are programmed to do just the opposite. So make sure you get your focus in a positive place. And the outcome is lovely. The Ten of Wands is very much the end of a difficult situation, the end of a really busy time. And this card says it's time for you to put your feet up, have a rest. Just rebalance your energy levels. Just have a rest and then you'll be ready to make your next move forward. It very much suggests that the busy times or any difficult times are over with. So let's get a little bit more information from the Time to Shine deck and then I'll summarise. 13 of Wisdom is lovely. This is New Beginnings. This card says take time to relax and rest. I've literally just said that here. Then move on and enjoy wonderful new chapters opening up. This is the card of positive new beginnings. The two of life card in your help or hurdle. We've got a double message. Same card, different deck. So this is the angels saying, did you understand that? Here it is again. I'm just reminding you to keep life in balance. Balance choices, work-life balance, financial balance. What do you need to focus on? The 11 wisdom card is all about being assertive. It's the strength card. So using kindness to get results, being assertive and kind all at the same time. You can say, no, thank you. That's a full sentence. This will work better for me. This will not work so well for me. All of those are lovely ways to be assertive and kind. And that will get you a lot further, a lot faster. How can you help yourself? The Ten of Emotion card is lovely. This is the Happy Ever After card. It's enjoying a contented family life, trustworthy relationships. It's very much the Happy Ever After card. Pulling it all together, the six of emotion is all about the past. It's remembering the past with love, reminiscing. But it also 
is the card that says it's time for you to consider doing what you've always wanted to do. And your final outcome card is lovely. The seven of life. This says do the groundwork, get busy on these new ideas. It's lovely that you've got that at the beginning and end of your reading. Do the groundwork, plant the seeds, start these new ideas, start these new projects and know that the success will come in divine and appropriate timing. So looking at your cards overall, getting busy, starting something new, paying attention to balance, financial balance, work-life balance, how much time do you give away? Stay positive, focus on what could go right. The page of teacups comes in with help and assistance and appreciation. Take things steady and know that the difficult times are over with because this wonderful new chapter for a happy ever after. These are the two cards together here. Wonderful new beginnings are showing up for you this week. You doing what you've always wanted to do. The strength card says you've got this. Yes, you can. But get busy. Plant the seeds. Start the ball rolling in this new direction because this fantastic new beginning is waiting for you and it's just around the corner. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for liking, sharing and subscribing. It's free to do that. Just click the button and it really does make such a difference for my channel and I'm truly grateful for that. So Libra, look after yourselves, have a lovely week and I'll see you here again soon.